Because when I started, it hadn't really been done before. Well, the BBC originally made local broadcasts from Newcastle, but they abandoned them for um, a regional service that covered the whole of the north of England. The equipment they used was, was inadequate for broadcasting to the northeast. That's when it started being called the northeast. Just to mark the area where the radio reception was poor. I don't think they really cared. We used equipment from the spares cupboard at the RAF base. Put up a rudimentary transmitter near the dunes. They've been doing morning broadcasts before, of course, but they were very much um, utilitarian. You know, the weather, high and low tides, anything that was coming from the Ministry of Information, although half of that was SIPs. We had turns in the studio, tin whistles, small pipes, chandlers. People reading poetry, recipes, telling jokes, tea's tickler sort of stuff, you know, nothing rude. Clog dancing, I mean, you couldn't see the dancing, but you still had the rhythm and the tunes. just want to someday help people wake up and start their day with a bit of life, a bit of spark. And we wanted them to hear their own voices coming out the wireless. It wears you down when everything you hear says your accent is wrong. So I can chant might have been the first pirate station. There were probably others around. Always will be. It's just good to do something for ourselves. <laughs> 